Hey everyone, Tanner Alt here with the Hotbox Sauna. And today we're gonna to be going over a brand new spoilboard gasket that we got sent to us by All Star CNC. Um, we've been using the traditional MDF and they send us this product, which dramatically increases the suction on the spoil board by making small little um, negative pressure pockets on the spoil board with this foam gasket. And so we're gonna do some comparisons right now. We're gonna try our holding power on the MDF and then we're gonna put this all-star CNC gasket on and we're gonna see the results. So let's check it out. All right, so we have the IS408 Shop Saber. We have a phenolic top with a Becker vacuum pump and four ranges of suction. I'm gonna go into detail on the underside of this and the gasketing that's involved to independently increase the suction in each of these zones. Um, but for right now, we've got the spoil board on there with the traditional MDF. And this is a standard piece of cedar that we would have on here. Um, it's relatively flat. I wouldn't say it's perfectly flat. And it's got a little bit of suction on here, but honestly, not really impressive right now. I got to take two fingers and pop it right off. And with a small amount of pressure, I can start to slide it. And then um, we have other smaller parts. Minimal, minimal suction. One side's sanded, one side's completely flat, and we can get the part to stay in place, um, but certainly not to the degree where you could do any machining or anything. So this is with all the vacuums on. We'll turn off all the zones except for the front zone just to maximize all of our vacuum pressure on this one. I'll press this down firmly and you can see that, I mean, I can get quite a bit of pressure on it. I think this would still move while we are machining. Um, but it just takes a little bit of force. You can still pop it up. As well as, you know, I don't know how many pounds of force it is, but it's never been enough for us where I can push it like that. Certainly with the other gasket, I can't move it at all. So we're gonna check that out right now. So this is the package that our friends at All Star CNC um, sent us. Inside, it's got all the parts for the IS-408. It's got an application for the tile gasket. It's got a phenolic um, shop saber gasket that we're gonna install on the inside, utilizing this double-sided adhesive. Then we've got um, All Stars, um, their own version of edge banding for your spoil board to keep it sealed on the edges. Works really good. Then we've got our tile gaskets. And because our um, spoil boards come in at a bigger size, we have this filler strip. We're gonna start by showing you guys how we put in the rubber gasket with the double-sided tape over here on the tabletop. Now we're gonna install the all-star edge banding on our MDF here. Roll this out. We just rolled it out just like normal tape. Got some on there, I'll flush it up to the edge. Cut it off with my razor knife. Very, very sticky stuff. So I have the MDF spoil board loaded on the machine with the edge banding on it, all the vacuums on, and the same piece of cedar. So you can see we have enough suction to hold it in one spot just barely with this piece of, of material. Obviously you'd get more suction if it was a whole piece of plywood, but a lot of times what we're holding is smaller cedar parts. So still lots of movement, the ability to pull it off. This is with an unmilled spoil board. So we're gonna go ahead, mill this spoil board down on this side, flip it over, mill the other side, Check the suction. Then we're gonna install the all-star CNC gasketing and see how much vacuum pressure that gets us. Go ahead, pick up our spoil board cutter. There we go. Now that we've got it nice and close, 
gonna be our Z0 right there. Now that we've got it to touch, go ahead and set that Z0. Go ahead and start our spoil board milling. So this is taking off that sealed layer of the MDF and opening up the pores of that grain um, to ultimately let the vacuum suck right through it, taking off that hard outer membrane. Okay, so now we just finished milling the first side of the MDF spoil board. Just another quick demo. Perfectly flat, still able to push it around. We're gonna mill the other side and then get ready to put the All-Star on. Once again, we're opening up that, that um, surface side of the MDF to get it to a porous layer where the vacuum can actually pull through the MDF board. So right now the suction's coming from other, underneath in each of these vacuum chambers and it's sucking down through the MDF. So we'll turn all three of them on, off, excuse me, except for this first one and I can still remove it. Just with this small vacuum chamber on, I can still slide it side to side and pop it off. Now we'll do the flip. Vacuum it down, run the program again. Welcome back. Now we have both sides of the spoil board machined. Go ahead and throw our piece of cedar down. Pretty good holding power. Still the ability to push it back and forth and or pop it off. And now we're gonna go ahead and install the All Star CNC gasket. They recommend starting in one corner and laying out your gaskets and then unpeeling the adhesive. And then ultimately this is gonna give us the vacuum and hold down power that we really need to machine the parts that we're machining. Let's get started. I will say the first time putting down this product, it is a learning lesson. It stretches and is kind of malleable. So your, your biggest kind of obstacle to conquer is keeping it straight and square while you work down your spoil board and not stretching it out because that'll just kind of throw you off. So I've got the actual spoil board on sucking down, which the last time I didn't have that seems to help. And we go right down this edge, try to get it squared up first, then line it up and vacuum it down. How about that? So I've got it in place kind of how I want it. Then I'm gonna undo the adhesive backing. Try not to stretch it out, try to fold underneath. See if I can start directly in the corner. Wow. This might be the best I've ever done. We shall see. Once it sticks, it sticks. So we're gonna have to call her good there. Drum roll, please. First one down. Okay, so we're learning. Wow, can already feel it. Instant tile gasket. Okay. All right, everyone, we have our super suction all-star tile gasket installed on the machine. It feels like, feels like octopus tentacles trying to grab a hold of your hand as you drag it across it because your hand just wants to stop. There's so much suction. We have the same piece of lumber that we were using before. We're gonna go ahead and stick it down and see what sort of suction we get. So let's try that side to side pressure. I've got no push or pull on either side really. Uh, I really don't wanna hurt my hand. Wow. So it even wants to break that off. So a lot more holding power. Ultimately, instead of these little pieces, I mean, look at that little piece. You know, our other spoil board wouldn't have held that at all. And here I can get it to clamp down. 
This is a standard panel for our sauna, which we would normally have a lot of issues sliding around, having you recut without the all-star CNC tile gasket. And so here's a real-time example of a panel being put down. We're in zone one and two, one on first, two on. Normally we would hit it, make sure we got no floating pieces. And then the unique thing is, is if they are floating a little bit, we just do like solid down pressure on them for a second. And that tile gasket, it's foam and it'll take and suck them down even further. So here, <laughs> as you can see, we've got the ultimate holding power. Since adding the all-star CNC tile gasket, we've had incredible accuracy, the ultimate holding power on our parts, and little to no mistakes since we switched to using the gasket. So I would highly recommend, if you're looking to improve any one of those things, you go ahead and purchase the all-star CNC gasket and you will not be disappointed. Um, we've been blown away with the results of this and we're gonna continue to be able to deliver excellent quality results for our customers because of the tile gasket. So thanks so much all-star CNC for sending us this product and we look forward to using it for years to come. Don't get your hands stuck.